All right, there's been some question how we troubleshot down to a, a bad uh, brake pedal actuator again. So pretty much it's plain and simple. Uh, here's what we're seeing. If you, if you look at the brake pedal actuator, which is right here, right? So this port here is for the right brake pedal going over to the emergency brakes, right? This port right here is the left brake pedal going to the emergency brakes. Now this port should have pressure whether you're in emergency or normal, meaning when you push to the brake pedal, that both the normal port and the emergency port, which is this port, should produce brake fluid. And that will go down to the brake distributor, and depending on where you have your brake pedal at, uh, that tells it to use either system one or system two. So now, with this line off, if I push, uh, if I push the left brake pedal, that's to the stop, there's, there's no fluid coming out. So, absolutely nothing. So without brake fluid coming out of that port, it can't pressurize the brake distributor valve for the emergency brakes, and uh, that's why you have no brake pressure on the left side. I did take off the right side and verify that if you push the right pedal, you do get fluid coming out. Um, but there's definitely no brake fluid coming out of the left port G. And I'll show you to explain it a little bit better. If you look at the diagram here, the reservoir feeds the left brake pedal through A and C, right? One's a pressure, one's a return. So if you have normal brakes, that means your reservoir is feeding fluid to your brake uh, transmitter right so E which is here comes down to your pilot relay distributor G which is where we're missing our fluid from comes over it calls it a co-pilot relay distributor but in reality it's an actual emergency brake distributor or system 2 distributor so when you push that pedal you should get fluid coming out of uh, uh, 